Now you may wonder, is my recovery really that bad? So many people complain about readings on stress, recovery, body battery. Is it really that bad? You have to answer yourself because as you can see, Garmin has really big trouble to read properly what happens in your body during activities and has even problem reading the heart rate. I noticed so many times, uh, especially analyzing my cardio, my walkings, my activities, that many times during even the very light activity, my heart rate was really high. The maximum heart rate was uh, 160, 170, which was uh, actually really just, I didn't feel that in my body, that actually that was so high. I didn't feel that heart pumping, I didn't feel that blood rushing and that actually made me to try make a little test how I can compare this to like classic uh, test of my uh, heart rate. First test I done was one 20 minutes cardio with using feature cardio on Garmin and then I did absolutely the same uh, movements, the same activity that I'm going to show you on video uh, and then I didn't switch the cardio on, on my Garmin and I uh, let the Garmin recognize it by uh, IQ movement that is actually feature recognizing by patterns in your body that you're actually doing something. I compared readings from Garmin uh, to readings from my neck, that actually very classic way when there was no devices that you could actually attach to your chest, there was no these devices, people were actually just checking here, measuring for 15 seconds and then multiply by four, or they were just measuring for one minute and then the reading was good. Simple activity. Actually, as you can see on the video, simple movements that actually shouldn't make your heart working harder than, uh, let's say, a hundred beats per minute. First, I made that simple activity using feature uh, cardio in Garmin and my heart rate went up to 147, almost 50. Uh, just after that I switched it off and I was doing just the same activity without feature cardio and I was making either, even a bit harder activity. So I was, my movement was faster and a more intense than before. So as you can see, movement is going up, heart rate is going down. That's reading by Garmin. Before I even started checking this, my max heart rate was 148. I burned mm, uh, almost 200 calories and average heart rate was 120. So there was a big variety. As you can see here, that was measurement during the feature cardio. Second activity, as you can see, the activity was recognized by uh, that intelligent Garmin feature as walk. And uh, just because it recognized, recognized as a walk, it changed the algorithm to calculate all the features inside. So suddenly my heart rate was uh, lower from 142, zone three, zone two, suddenly I was in zone one, doing even stronger activity, even more movement on different feature and uh, putting more effort in the exercise. My heart, heart readings are different and is actually opposite, going opposite way. So just because it recognized Intelli intelligently as a as a walk, uh, it absolutely changed the the measurement. Final test for me was just measuring my my pulse in here, using uh, stopper or 
uh, on watch and what was the real measurement so it was between 67 80 uh, even during the the top activity I was just stopping and measuring and uh, you know there was no even chance that was faster than 100 it was the, the top was 80 my intensity minutes during the feature uh, recognized as cardio went straight away from 190 to 200 and something around 40 so it, it really it really around uh, 40 minutes of, of intensity as you, as you saw on the video there was no intensity at all and at the same time recognized as a um, walk by intelligent feature didn't make any of it even though I was moving faster and I was putting more intensity into the exercise steps measured during this both activities were very very similar because I was doing the same movements with my hands and with my legs so it looked like a bit intensive work on both and actually didn't vary up, uh, at all it actually looked very very similar what happened when i actually used uh, feature walking with gps so as you can see in this activity in this walk that was feature uh, set on my uh, garmin uh, i was moving really fast and intensive and the readings of the heart rate was absolutely uh, low and it looked like I was very calm and I didn't move at all just because the feature was walking so now you can just imagine how much uh, the movement during your sleep uh, makes or affects your readings uh, because if we compare here that movement during the sleep indicates that you are actually in the re OEM uh, stage or you're actually awake so we all know that sometimes we just sleep we just move during the uh, the sleep and we're still not conscious we still sleep but for Garmin is that you're you're awake because your movement was too strong for a sleeping person as I mentioned before in my previous video about measurements about accuracy uh, Garmin never knows if you sleep or not, so Garmin uses few different uh, measurements, a combination of it, to make out how much you're in sleep or you are sleeping or not. So movement is one of them and at the same is the heart rate and definitely you have to set up uh, in your Garmin what time you actually sleep during the 24 hours i explained that in that video uh, if you're interested please make the comment and then maybe i i will do another video about just about the sleep now you may wonder is my recovery really that bad so many people complain about readings on stress recovery body battery is it really that bad you have to answer yourself because as you can see Garmin has really big trouble to read properly what happens in your body during activities and has even problem reading the heart rate depending on uh, what feature is on the Garmin is trying to figure out what you're actually doing thanks for watching please comment subscribe and see you next time